Hello everyone, hope you are well. Today I am going to show you how to transpose more than one columns. So it's a bit more a bit more complicated than uh, transposing one column. So this is the source of my file. So this is the three column table. And the end result of today's session will be um, three rows of data fully transposed, including the column name. My name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first step to do this is open up the source file. So for this instance, it's a CSV file. So I read the transpose three columns dot CSV. And then in advance, depending on whether you want to transpose the column name or not, uh, you disable or enable this. So first line contains column names is disabled. So I am actually transposing the first column first line sorry then you launch excel with a blank document make instance visible um, the rest is uh, default then normally i would like to see what uh, power automate do so i will focus the window on the uh, excel so find window mode by title Window title is book one dash uh, Excel. You can use this select window to select that uh, Excel uh, book one. Then you set the window state by title book one dash Excel window state maximize. Then you set variable column that index is zero. Then you retrieve data column into list. So this will go and get the CSV table and then get the first column. So column index zero is your first column. Column index one is your second column, so on and so forth. So variables produce current column. Then you loop. Loop condition is um, column on index less than or equal to um, two. Because I have three column, I will have zero index one index, two index, so three columns. So I will only need to transpose to two. Um, I can also avoid this loop condition method. I will just use loop. Um, so it depends on what you need. If you want to transpose everything in a table, you can use just the loop um if you just want to um do a few columns in the table you use loop condition right and then you loop uh to uh, however many columns you want then you use for each current item value to iterate current column store into current item then you write to excel excel instance current item on currently active cell then you use activate cell in excel worksheet excel instance relatively specified cell write and offset from active cell one so it will go 
from left to right. This is doing the first column. Then you get first free row on column from Excel worksheet, Excel instance, column one. So it will go to the next row, right? And, and, and get the column, uh, sorry, get the row number, the first free row. Then you use activate cell in Excel worksheet, Excel instance, absolutely specified cell, column one, and then this is a variable which you have obtained in the previous step, first free row on column. Then you increase variable. So just now we, def uh, we our column index is zero. So now it increased by one. So variable name is column index increased by one. Then you retrieve data table column into list. So CSV table and then column index. Now this is the second column, which is column index one. Variables produced is current column. Also, another important thing is make sure you uh you switch uh okay let me skip this first i will show you later um create a label for display message then display message this is when everything is successful transpose you can uh, put anything you want in a box title then message to display, uh, you can put anything as well. So for me, I will just put process completed, completely, completed successfully. Mm. Then I put keep message board always on top. Then for this retrieve data table column into list, because it's, um, it, it always increase the variable. So because my table has three columns, so if the variable increase to sort of like maybe a uh, column index uh, three, right? It will error saying that there's no uh, column in uh, index uh, four or three. Um, then I specify it what to do on error. Um, so continue flow run go to label display message it will it, it won't go through the loop anymore it will straight away go to this uh, process complete the successfully so this this on error can be used for loop conditioner or or just the plain loop so it will keep on looping until it cannot find um, the index a new index then it will straight away go to on error on error and it will go to display message and then it will say um, everything is done so i'm going to close my excel files because i'm going to uh, run so that you guys can see how it's being run so now I am going to click on the run button. <clears throat> it will maximize Excel. So now it's cop uh, transposing. Okay. 
and then I have the pop-up window. Uh, I hope this video has helped you. If you like this video, please give this video a like and please remember to subscribe. Also, if you would like to tip me, you can go to the uh, PayPal link in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.